there's one metal that can help you do a tough job better. Tungsten. That's why we put it to work in the Tungsten Steel Persona 74. This is the sharpest, longest-lasting razor blade made. And it's a fact. The shave you get is only as good as the blade you use. Persona 74. Sharper, longer-lasting than any razor blade made. Yeah, well, that cleft in my chin is one reason I prefer an injector razor. Uh -huh. It makes it easier to get at. Oh, you really like it, huh? Oh, especially with these Persona injector blades uh -huh. inside it. You know, they work every yeah. bit as good as the double-edged Persona? Well, sure, but how would you know? Easy, I try. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, about the only stainless injector around then, which... Uh -huh. I wanted to see what other stainless would be like. Oh, I see, but then when the Persona injector came along... Well, I went running right. right back to the razor that me and my cleft prefer. Hey, naturally. Hey, yeah. I wonder, would you mind... Uh, what, we shave uh, the cleft? Would you do yeah. it? Oh, no. That's fascinating. Look at that. It's a TV first. Yeah. <laughs> No, I never thought injector shaving could be improved this much. So you really like these Persona injector blades, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to think stainless injectors were great when they were practically the only ones around. Yeah. But now I'm getting even more shaves out of these Persona injectors. It's sort of more shaves than you can shake a at, huh? Shake a stick at? Uh, shake a at. Oh! You get it? <laughs> it's a matter of taste. Me? I love an injector razor. You love it? Well, I like it very much. Okay? Yeah. Especially since Persona brought out the stainless injector blade. Uh, That's smooth. You prefer Persona to stainless injector? Oh, yeah. Everything I've heard about Persona Double Edge seems true of these two. How do you do love your injector razor? Well, with Persona blades, I do. Mom? Dad? Huh? I've got a new razor. Oh! <laughs> Sick injector? Uh-huh. Well, it just isn't our kind. Only has one edge. Well, I guess as many shades as your double well, edge. It's different looking. It's light, you know. Yeah, so it's fast and it, it trims easy. That's another thing. Nobody in our family ever had a mustache. George, huh? your Aunt Charlotte has a little one. The Schick injector system, sometimes different, is better. Razor blade shimmy. You can't see it happen on your face. So I'll show you what it's like on this bar of soap. Double edge blade shimmy because the razor doesn't hold them very firmly. Band razors don't make shaving any smoother. They have a shimmy all their own. Fortunately, there's the Schick injector system with a razor that locks the blade in this tight. That controls the shimmy, so you shave your whiskers much smoother, more evenly. The Schick injector system. Try it. Tough guy personify. Oh, pro defensive end, Howie Long. Hey, Howie. How do you get a smooth, clean, close shave that's not tough on your wallet? Get personified. Get persona. Find quality pivot, injector, double-edge, twin blades, and disposable razors for a comfortable shave at a comfortable price. Get personified. Get persona. Hello, everybody. Well, today, it's getting harder and harder for me to decide what kind of shave video I'm going to do for you guys. And uh, just by the fact that uh, my uh, Persona 74 double edge blade is now, my next shave is going to be number 20. I had to really decide what to do and I decided not to do number 20 because I still think there's a lot left in that blade. But I decided I'm going to do one with the cousin, the brother, the sister, whatever you want to call it, the Persona 74 tungsten steel injector that I just got. And I've also been in dilemma because I've had these sitting around. I'm thinking, okay, next injector shave I'm going to do, I'm going to do with this Persona, which is one of the the mini hair shaper blades that comes in a package like this that doesn't have a thing so I have to switch them over into an old chick injector but uh, more of that a little bit later received a, a, a PIF a pet forward from Jeff Anderson a uh, Vilong Kacharo, C-A-C-H-U-R-R-O, horsehair. And he didn't like it because it had a, had a hole in the middle and he didn't want to have to mess with it. 
and uh, I think it was Jim Wolverton told me that you have to brush these out and so I did I brushed brushed it out real good and fluffed it up and the hole it's still sort of there but not really but it, it feels feels real nice it's a little scritchy uh, I wouldn't face lather with it it's it's got pretty good pretty good bounce to it and stiffness and backbone and comparing it to my Turkish horse hair there's been a lot of debate is is this a horse hair or is it badger uh, not badger uh, boar and I think it's horse I think it's horse it's it's a little bit coarser of a horse hair but when we compare it with the boar, a smug boar smugs are much stiffer although uh, the the hair is similar in in thickness um, it's kind of when you line them up this is is softer than this and this is softer than this I don't know but I'm gonna stick this in some water get that soaking today I'm gonna use uh, start trying to use up some samples I've got some mama bears samples and I'm gonna use Dublin tweed today I've kind of mashed it down into a, a bowl and hopefully I can get a good good run off of it I know a lot of these little glycerin soap samples are hard to to get at but I've loaded the Persona 74 tungsten steel vintage blade into my Schick adjustable and I'm just gonna do one little bitty swipe with my uh, Schick Hydromagic that I've loaded one of the Persona uh, mini hair shaper blades in and just kind of see how it feels because I'm anxious about it so I uh, haven't done any pre-shave. I'm not going to do any pre-shave today. I'm just going to let it go naked. Put a little bit of water on my face. Get a little bit better hydrated while I'm working on my lather here. Um, it's been a real interesting run with the Persona 74. It's just amazing the technology that we had back in the late 60s early 70s they started producing these in 1970 and we had the technology of making these fantastic blades and then we we automatically just kind of went off into the stupid marketing world of twin blades and granted you know you can get a pretty good shape from a, a twin blade razor but uh, you know it's it's just real sad it's sad that that we went from such fine craftsmanship and machining of where we were at in the 60s 50s 70s you know post world war ii we took all of the the technology that we derived from world war ii and all of the the manufacturing know-how of getting things right and getting things done well and getting things done well quickly because our boys depended on it to just into a television marketed mass world of, of disposable and even though people argue that well you know disposable was introduced by Gillette back at the turn of the century with you know when we moved from straight razors and it's true it's true so you know do I do I advocate we all go back to straight razors no but it's it's fine I, that's that's another thing I got going I've got a straight that I want to Start learning how to use in the mix of all this. I don't know if, I don't know when I'll get to that. 
but you know should we go back to using straight just because it's ecologically sound no but doesn't mean we don't use it this Vylong horsehair brush it whips up the lather now uh, mama bears I, I you noticed I've been dipping down I've added water about four times now and this keeps swirling and swirling and smell this Dublin tweed it's it's a, just a real fresh kind of grassy kind of mossy type smell and there we go looks like a nice nice lather get no water on my face Long, it, it's it's got long hair. It's pretty high loft, and it does real good paint brushing on this, the cream. Okay, I want to go my first little, little bitty pass with the Persona Hair Shaper and just kind of see what it feels like feels pretty good feels pretty good have to just go to a later date to test that out completely but it doesn't feel too bad I've got this set on number eight which is the dot after the seven and see how that goes if it feels too aggressive or too rough I'll dial it down but that first little feel feels pretty good very smooth It's kind of yet to see what I found with that Persona 74, which I'll talk about later on when I'm doing that. Is what I found is after I'd say after you get past about eight to ten shaves on it, you really can't do the long strokes like this and have it feel comfortable that uh, you know they're just real short strokes and, I, and I've noticed I went back and watched one of Mantic 59's videos or maybe his, his most recent one I can't remember and he talked about you know, shaving doing short strokes and he just went short strokes all the way across his face like that. Hmm. These are sharp. I got a little nicky here. Right there. And start thinking about it. And uh, yeah, the way we use we used carts twin blade yeah they marketed it and, and I've looked back at 
an old ad. Um, maybe I'll throw one of those old ads in here. I think I probably will. I'll throw one of the ads in here that shows the early track to advertisements back in the early 70s. And they promoted doing the the longer stroke it seems like because the purpose of the double edge blade is that, you know the first blade pulls the hair out cuts it off and before it has a chance to snap back then the second blade hits it and uh, so the whole idea of doing short strokes which is what I'm learning is the way you shave when you're shaving with a straight. You're doing little short strokes, not doing those long sweeping strokes. And then in, in understanding now a little bit about the marketing that they did from the Dura, uh, Durham Duplex, it talked about being able to do that sweeping motion. Well, you couldn't do that with a straight which could with that safety bar on it. So it, it, it all kind of makes sense how it fits together is that we've moved away from doing short strokes. We're doing all of these long strokes and expecting our blades to be super smooth and tossing them as soon as there's just a little bit of tugginess, but maybe our technique is wrong. Maybe we're looking at it the wrong way. Maybe when it gets tuggy, that means we need to not bask in the sharpness and the keenness of a very, very fresh blade with doing long, smooth strokes and go back to doing short strokes. Sort of a buffing. I must have really nicked myself pretty good right there. That's one of the benefits of the injector style razors though is that you can get back in to those tight spots real easy so I wouldn't be an easy I wouldn't be careful and just kind of angle the blade a little bit too wrong well we're definitely at DFS level and Dan Fonche level right now I could go away and that'd be fine. And it's really just on my my neckline, my, my chin line, really. That I need to do anything else to, to really bump it up. And I really, I don't, in, with these blades, the way they perform, at least as the, the way the double edge razors perform, you know, normally a, a, an injector style razor I can get anywhere from seven to nine, ten shaves out of a out of a shick. So
I can easily see going 30 shaves, 40 shaves, 50 shaves with one of these blades. And with this, this has got, uh, this had, there's still 10 blades in this. There's 11 blades. So that could be my shave apocalypse. stash stash that away I've got a year of shaving in this I I've, I've got a year of shaving maybe maybe not even maybe it's not shaving every day but just about every day could easily easily get 300 shaves out of this or more now I'm betting more another little trick I found I've put my witch hazel with um, some essential oil, uh, some citrus. I took my cork and I, and I chopped it and made some angles. And some of them I, I just kind of sh very gently shave off. But this one I shaved with just enough little nicks in it that you see right there. If you can see along in there enough that there's a gap so I put my stopper on I don't have to take the stopper out I've got my stopper on and I've got a shaker I better use the step to just a little bit. I tend when when I do get a weeper, I tend to bleed pretty good. And with that, it looks like I've got just a few little nicks there, little weepers. It's a sharp blade. Got maybe some down on my chin here. So, Paul Bambino. Bruce Weber looking for a sharp blade. This Persona 74. I think it kicks the butt of any feather blade cut down that you got. So, going out, um, maybe drop out, put in some ads. I'll put something for you to watch. Uh, pictures, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this. But, Persona 74's vintage blades, they're only made about three or four years. Yeah, they're expensive, but when you get down to the per shave cost of them, probably, probably, if you can, if you can get the right price, even if that price is three, four, five, six times more than what you would pay for the average razor blade, because these blades shave ten times longer, probably than the average blade. Cost per shave is going to be underneath 10 cents per blade. 10 cents per shave. So, until next time, good shaves, be happy, be safe. We'll talk with you later. Hi, Hank. Shave him close for your big close-up, huh? Yep. Well, don't cut yourself. Sam, I don't have to cut myself to shave close. It's a track two, the two-bladed razor from Gillette. The blades are recessed, so it's safer. Recess? Then how come it shaves so close? Because it doesn't shave like a one-bladed razor.
See, when the first blade shaves your whisker, it stretches it out from the skin for a moment, and before it can snap all the way back, the second blade comes along and can shave it again. Closer. What if I went back again with my one blade razor? <laughs> you couldn't shave quick enough. Whisker snaps back too fast. Gee, that's a great shave. And that's not even my good side. The Gillette Track 2. The two-bladed razor. Gillette made it one blade better. There are many theories why the Track 2, the new two-bladed razor from Gillette, gives you such a close shave. Let me tell you about one of them. We know that when the first blade cuts your whisker, it can also lift it out a little from below the skin, exposing extra whisker. Now, if the theory is right, before that whisker snaps back, the second blade comes along and can shave that extra whisker. The new Gillette Track 2 Twin Blade Shaving System. We think it's one blade better.